Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a stack column chart with some descriptive labels. Now in this particular column chart here, and basically a column chart is looking at the data and putting it in one column. So we have uh, our north data here and our south data all in one column and it's just separated out there. Now basically this chart is drawn uh, by these two columns, the data from the north and south. And what we're doing is we're taking some extra columns, these helper columns, to go ahead and put some labels there. So we've got our 54% which will represent the north, uh, the 46% here in this uh, item one that represents the south. Uh, and we have our totals, our total values. And basically it kind of gives you a, a highlighted view in this chart of what the totals are and the percentage of north and south for that total. Now it's fairly easy to create this chart. Let me show you how to do it. I'm going to go into a new worksheet here and just kind of pull in uh, new data. So let's go ahead and just kind of start out the, the column headers. Uh, this is going to be items. I'll go ahead and do uh, maybe item one to item one. I'll just go and just follow the, the what I had earlier. Item one, uh, press control enter to stay in that cell. Let me go ahead and drag the fill handle down here. And you can see as I drag it down, Excel is pretty smart enough to kind of uh, increase the number. So we get item nine, item uh, 10 here, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just put the other headers here, north and south. And I'm just going to put some randomized data here. Let me go ahead and just put our uh, equals rand between, I'll put random numbers between 10 and 100. So the bottom, the bottom number is 10, the top numbers 10, oh, 100, it'll give me random numbers between 10 and 100. Uh, since I selected all um, this range of cells here, B2 to C11, and I don't want to type in this particular function over and over again, what I can do is cl actually close the parentheses, have a close parentheses to close that, and press Control Enter, and it will fill in that formula or that function for all uh, these cells that I selected. So that gives me that. And from here, I can actually just create my uh, stack column chart. So I can just go into insert and go into my column chart here, and I'm going to have a 2D stack column chart. So that basically gives us what we want in terms of having the uh, values uh, charted out in this plot area. Let me go ahead and get rid of these grid lines, select that, press delete. But how do I get that number there? And it would be nice if Excel was smart enough to know, oh, these two numbers add up and I can just put something up there, but it doesn't do that. What we need to do is add in some helper columns for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a total here. Just type total. And then here I'm going to go ahead and equals the sum of this value, comma, and then this value, press enter. And I have my sum there, so this basically sums up these two. Let me go and double click the fill handle to bring it down. Now what I can do is I can just bring in this value, uh, this range of data here. I can just control C to copy and then go into my chart here, control V to paste. And you notice that it has put it in there. I mean, there's, there's many ways to put that value, um, that particular value or series of data in there. You can go under uh, design and then select data. Uh, and go ahead and just insert it here. But you can see it's already here. And what I've done is I just did a control C, control V to paste it. And so that's a quick shortcut to do that. Now what I want to do here is I want to add a label here. And I want to add a label for just that value because it's the total. And so I've selected that particular series of data. You can see it's all selected here across the chart here. Right click and I'm going to go click add data labels. So it's added the number there and what I want to do is I just want to do some formatting. So I'm going to click on the label itself there. Uh, press control one and it's going to bring up the format data labels uh, navigation pane. And what I want to do is I want to have that label go into the inside base right at the bottom here and in the inside at the base of this particular uh, area. So I'm going to go and click on that. You can see now it's at the inside base. And what I really want to do now is I don't want to have these bars show up and the, because they're basically just kind of helper um, portions of this chart. So I'm going to just make it disappear. And to, to do that, we'll just go ahead and change the color. So I'm going to select back into that series of data. I'm out of the uh, label. Uh, and you can see that my, it has format data series now. And what I want to do is go to the fill bucket here, fill in line, and make the fill no, uh, no fill. I also want to do that with the border because I don't want to have a border here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and, and do no line. So now that has disappeared. So now I've got that particular portion gone and done. Now earlier I also had the percentages here. So it would be nice to have the percentage here to, to look and see which percentage is the greater of uh, these totals. So what I can do is I can add another set of helper columns here. Let me go ahead and move my chart off to the side here. And what I can do is add some, per some percentage columns. So I'm going to go add this one as north 
and I'll just put the percentage, it makes it easier. And then south, and then percent, right? And for the north, it's going to be equal to that value divided by the total. So the total, I want to, I'm going to go ahead and copy uh, this particular formula over here and also down. But so when that happens, if you don't have a dollar sign in front of the, the letters or numbers, it will change the uh, the cell reference because this is a relative cell reference. What I want to do is put the dollar sign in front of the D. So wherever I copy this formula down, it always stays in column column D. But I want to change the rows. You can see. So I've go to if I go to row three, I want to have that reference D three. So let me go ahead and put the dollar sign in front here and go ahead and press control enter and it stays in that cell. So let me go ahead and copy this down. And you can see if, as I go down my cells here, my reference here changes D3, B3 changes uh, from B2 and D3 changes from D2, right? So if I go down, you can see that it changes. Now I want to copy this formula all the way across. So I can just take this and just kind of select that and just move the fill handle over here and it's copied the formula across. So you can see that C2 has changed. It used to be B2. now D2 has stayed the same because we had that dollar sign in front of it. And so if I kind of mouse down or uh, arrow down, you can see that the formulas have changed accordingly. So I just want to format this now. Uh, this is in decimal. Let me take this into percentage. And we've got our percentage there. So what I want to do here now is I want to have these labels reflect these helper columns here. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the first one here for north. Right click and add a data label. And it's going to, by default, add the data label, of course, for this value. But I can change that. I can go ahead and go into the data label, select one of them, and then go under the, uh, let's see, the label options. And I want to have this value from cells. I want to click on that. Let me go ahead and click, get rid of this value here. Click on value from cells. And it, it pops up a data label range. And I want to select the range for north here. So I'm going to select this range. and click OK and you can see I've got it now. Just do the same thing for the south. I'm going to go ahead and click on the biggest one here so it's easier to click on. Right click, select data, add data labels here, add a data label and then also do the same thing here. Go select the data label and go under the um, label options, click unselect value, click value from cells and select my range here. Right? Click OK and let me go ahead and close this. Now, the rest of it, I could just do some cleanup here. Um, let me go ahead and make it a little bit bigger here. I don't need this particular portion of the legend, the total. I've got north and south. Let me go ahead and select on that. When I clicked it one time, it selects the whole legend. Click it again inside to the total. It selects that. Press delete. Uh, I probably don't need this access label uh, because I kind of want to have it as simple as possible here. But I don't need it to go up to 400 because when you think about the totals here, we have a range from 0 to 100. 100 is the max here. So 100 plus 100 is going to be 200. So I don't need that large of a range up to 400. I'm going to go and select that. Press Control 1 to bring up the format access. And then my maximum, maybe I'll just make this 220. And then uh, press Tab. And you can see that it's taken to 220. And uh, let me go ahead and close this. And really, I just needed to have that maximum set to 220. And I don't need this anymore because I just want to have the, va the data here, the numbers here tell um, the story here in terms of how far it goes up. So I'm going to go ahead and select the access, press delete. So now that is gone. And basically, I've got my labels here for my uh, stack column chart. I have my totals here on the top. And uh, this is a random number generator. So I can just go ahead and press the F9 key. And you notice that as it changes, uh, the values or the placement of those labels pretty much stay the same. So it's kind of nice in that sense if you have data that you're changing or you're adding to it. Uh, if I press the F9 key, you can see that the placement of those labels stay pretty consistent. So this is the way that we can create a stack column chart with some more customized labels. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.